What's going on, everybody? All right. Everybody's, um, let me see two seconds. I want to give credit to the, I want to give credit to him that he put out the video. And I'll explain something. Stocking, uh, stocks and crypto plays. I don't know his name. Nice guy. Um, he reminds me of the guy from that movie that they took his staple away and he burnt down the building. I think any moment he's going to crack. Yes. He's correct on them having these uh, 50 million preferred stock, which is not ape. The fix was in from the beginning. That is true. The question has been, where is that stock? Did it ever leave AMC, the board? Um, you know, basically, the, 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 the think about it as the firewall on the AMC side, or did they hand it over to one of the institutes that, you know, they owe money to, like, yo, dog, listen. I think they probably gave it over to Antera because how the hell Antera held that. But we'll see over the next couple of days. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. That's not the only thing that they did to us. They also, they also created that FTX AMC coin. Those wallets are still out there. They're moving on and you can see them. And they have them on the other meme stocks as well. It's not just us. You have to understand from the beginning, when I came on to this nonsense and I said, that's not the real price, this is yada yada, whatever, you know the whole thing. You have to understand that the company is never has never been a company that's on our side. And every time we've come close to winning, winning big, I always told you, we will fracture the system because that's how big we are. We're still that big now. Now, as far as them having the voting rights to get this, we all know we voted no. Like, I didn't even get a chance to vote. Think about that one. But we know that the no's outrank the yes. But they put the fix in from the beginning. And I'll explain to you how that's a guarantee thing, how that went in. When The video I did earlier, I said, when did Antara start speaking to Popcorn regarding swapping AMC debt for Ape? Happened a long time ago. But the thing is, the condition was that one day Ape would turn around and merge back. Now, knowing that retail, which is all of us, would never agree to that. They had to have something in place to guarantee that conversion. You got to understand something. We're, we're just being used along the way. That's why I said popcorn is a scumbag. Take a look at the people in the board. Take a look at who the fuck they are. Take a look at the fuck, where the fuck they came from. Okay? And then you'll understand what this thing is all about. Understand the two dominant players in this as far as the institutes. You know who they are. You have to understand. GameStop caught them all by surprise. They saw an opportunity for this. So at the end of the day, this is what they did. In the beginning, we had the first rise, went up into the 20s. Then they attacked us down. Then we rose up to the freaking 13, 14. Then we ripped into the 70s. And that's when they started dropping shares. They went into crisis mode and they threw everything at us. Okay. The creation of Ape was one side of it to get money on top. But we didn't even vote for Ape. And I, I, put out a, uh, I put out something on that earlier today. We didn't vote for Ape. So it's more than we didn't vote for this reverse split merger. We never voted for Ape in the first place. So we didn't vote for Ape in the first place. We sure as hell didn't vote for the preferred stock, the one that has like 300 uh, time voting rights over. The, the class Bs are different. I think it's like four, four, three, four, something like that, whatever. But the thing is, they guaranteed the loop around for what we did. And I could technically say from my point of view, and I'm not you know, an attorney or anything like that, but I've been around stocks for a while. This shit smells like fraud. Because at face value, the information that Popcorn was putting out to us, how our votes voted obviously no, and that we voted for Ape, and then Ape was free, and Ape was supposed to go spending. There's a lot of deceptive shit that's going on here that's not supposed to happen in the securities field. It's not supposed to be happening. And then you take a look at the filings. And unfortunately, you see things in the filings and you see things that are not in the filings. Like those FTX token wallets out there that were trading. Let's face it. They did everything to stop us and nobody did anything. Unless they're going to, you know, snatch them up later on one day when we don't know. But I don't think so. 
at the end of the day, we have this situation right now where the judge has to make a decision based on, you know, the settlement. That's what she's basically deciding on now, the vice chancellor. She has to decide on the settlement because both parties already agreed she has to look and see whether she'll accept this. She's also looking out for us, but please understand, the key thing that we're needing to wait for is for her to say that APE was not supposed to be created. We never voted for it. I mean, it, for lack of a better word, APE was a creation out of AMC. I mean, amongst other things, and the FTX tokens that nobody's talking about because we don't even know how they were used against us. We know how. They were traded on the side. They were going in and out. I mean, remember Bank said City had 400 million shares? Yeah, more fucking fraud. There was beyond, beyond synthetics in this. There was AMC and the board, popcorn. Most crooked, corrupt company ever. What's my solution to this? I wait to see what the judge decides. The pressure is still on AMC right now because they need this conversion to happen. I think at the end of the day, if it runs up and it makes some money, I'm the fuck out and fuck AMC. And then later on, I guess I'll have conversations with certain people as far as things I've seen across the board, if we still have an economy left. Um, but my thing is this, this is worse than the shit I saw in 2008 and 2012. This is allowing to operate right now because of the major players involved in it. Okay, so that being said, I'm gonna tell you something. The fix is in. Our judge, right now, she stands in, and she's the line in it, right? She's right there. She's holding the line. If she decides at the end of the day to not approve this, then it's game on. Because at the end of the day, let's face it, they need they need to get rid of ape and wrap everything up to close everything out. They have to do it. That's why they're in danger. That's why they sell so fast. This is a cleanup operation, like I said. They have to take everything and clean it up and drop more shares. I'm not gonna give you advice, but I believe one of the things, and they don't give a fuck about AMC. At Popcorn don't give a fuck about AMC. The board don't give a fuck about it. They're blowing this company out. Because they know the second this thing rises up and people get even and get whole, okay, they're out, they're gone. AMC, they're gonna bust it out. Somebody's gonna come in and buy it when it goes into OTC. Don't get stressed out on this. At the end of the day, I'm telling you what it is. It's a corrupt, dirty fucking plate. Like I said to you, I think it was last night or the night before. This is the dirtiest. This is, this is worse than Enron, in my opinion. Because what Enron did, you could break it down to like a real small thing. This, this shit is beyond anything. But as far as them issuing out, those uh, preferred shares with the 300, you know, 300 votes per one common, you have to understand something. They had to guarantee this turnaround. But the main thing was, APE was never supposed to be created. So understand that for a second. Yes, they created those, you know, powerful voting stocks to turn APE back into AMC. But apes should have never been created. That's the core of what this is. And we got to wait for the judge. Unless anybody wants to file a federal injunction right away. And we got to see what the time frame is on that. But because right now this is in court, we would need to see what the vice chancellor says. That's precedent. If she says that ape was not supposed to be in a retail, didn't vote for it, that, you know, that has caused, you know, financial harm to, you know, you know, shareholders, common shareholders. We will need that. You need that in order to even go forward because you're going to have to, even if you if you try, you're going to have to point at something and tell the judge, the reason why I'm trying to seek is because my investment's in here and this just came to light and you're going to have to point to it and you have to have something because let's face it, people, this is like several billions of dollars worth of like fuckery going on. You got some major plays on the other side. So now one thing is the veil's lifted on popcorn. Popcorn's gone. That, that's it. Everybody knows popcorn's a scumbag now. 
Did we get fucked over? We got fucked over. I told you from the the second they created eight, I was fucking pissed because I knew the end of the day, this was a fucking a go around. Focus on the judge. Focus on what she says because that is the only that is that's where we're at right now. Okay, I mean, there's nothing. Whatever shares they created on the side, they gave them. We know we voted no. We know we beat everybody. We know we we voted no on the dilution. They still did it. They they did everything against what we wanted. We basically they took our money and did everything they wanted. You're never gonna fix that. The judge, by halting this, will cause massive pressure on AMC, the stock, because right now it's vulnerable. Look at the cost to borrow on it. Like, good luck. If there's no reverse split merger, that means Ape stands alone and AMC stands alone, and they both gonna have to. They're gonna have to release some steam. What I'm gonna do? Because I'm not telling you what to do. When I get my money. When I get a climb up, I'm the fuck out of this. This is a dirty fucking play with a dirty fucking company with a, a fucking dirty CEO. At the end of the day, how many lies have you caught them on already? Think about that one. Ape was free. Ape was a penny. We voted for Ape. We voted for the reverse split. I won't dilute. He diluted. I mean, you can go on and on and on. And I say, what stops it? Only thing that can stop is the judge saying April isn't supposed to be created. Because at the core, that's what all this is about. Because if April was never created, then those preferred stocks with the 300% voting rights wouldn't mean shit. Why? Because they wouldn't have nothing to vote on because there would be no Ape in order to convert back to AMC. That's the essence. Was Ape an illegal action? because the shareholders did not vote on it. And if that's the case, AMC just opened themselves up to like 4 million lawsuits. I'm just waiting. That's what I'm waiting on. I don't wanna play fucking Johnny Detective. I wanna fucking see what the judge says. When the judge says, there you go. It's like if you're suing, let's say for example, I'm gonna give, try to be light on this because of certain things. But let's say you're suing some entity of the government and the Supreme Court rules on something, and all of a sudden it goes, this and this and this because of this, and this makes this unconstitutional. Well, if you're suing it, they go, well, Your Honor, <laughs> the Supreme Court just ruled that this has already been established. Well, if you want to go forward with it, if the Vice Chancellor says that ape wasn't supposed to be created because it wasn't voted on by retail, well, guess what? We got something to stand on. Does that help us win? Yeah, things will run. You can, you know, if you want to, saying, I will get the fuck, I, I am going to get the fuck out. As far as, you know, like, the people who lost a lot of money in AMC, you'll have what you need. You'll have what you need. It's a simple fucking thing. You can go to a courthouse, you can fucking file pro se, throw $400 on the clerk's counter, write a lawsuit, and at the end of the day, you're good to go. It's there. It's done. I wouldn't go the class action route because you won't get a fucking thing. You'll get a check for like, I don't know, $17 and I don't know, some like a, a fucking a, a cash card to Outback Steakhouse or something like that, that. You don't need that shit in your life. And it's not those stocks that I'm concerned about with the 300% voting rights or the class B or like three or four voting rights power. It's not that. It's the fact that we... We never voted, Ape was never voted, we never created Ape. So those those stocks were just used to dilute further on now. This is what's being decided now. Ape was never voted on. Understand, that's what we're waiting on. I can imagine who holds those shares. I'm thinking, if I was to take a while just now, I was say Antara. They were the biggest holder of the debt. Was it Goldman that was the biggest holder of the debt? I don't fucking remember, it's been so long. But it doesn't matter now. Ape was never supposed to happen. You understand? That's all it is. That's all it is. So, like I said, just hang out till tomorrow. Let's just see what, if AMC files a reply to Tuttle's uh, letter slash motion, and let's just go from there. Let's just see where this goes from. This is just a dirty fucking play. It was a dirty play back then, and some dirt shit happened 
even behind the scenes, most people don't even know about. But at the end of the day, like I tell you, I'm getting my, once I see it, if, because if, we may run beforehand, but if the judge says, ah, it's not happening now. And if it goes, I'm going to get a certain number and I'm going to get out. Why? Because at the end of the day, I'd rather be whole and walk away from this. Because you wouldn't put it past these motherfuckers to shut down this play once we win. Think about that one. Try that one in your head. Imagine everything starts to go good and all of a sudden it stopped because this is wrong and that was wrong and this. And we're like, wait a minute, you didn't stop it any time before. Now you stopped it. Be very careful with this fucking stock. That's all I can tell you. This fucking company and the whole thing. I love you motherfuckers, but we're in AMC. And that, that you shouldn't take lightly.